Jacob wrestled with God. It was late at night. Jacob was alone at the camp by the Jabbok River. He was physically tired fleeing from his father-in-law Laban, but what he felt that night was more than physical exhaustion. Twenty years ago, Jacob left his home in Canaan and went to Padam Aram. He had deceived his brother Esau and their father Isaac. He cheated Esau of his birthright inheritance and stole his blessings from their father. Now, Jacob was on his way back to Canaan with his four wives and thirteen children. Jacob was scared because he was about to meet his older twin brother Esau who was vowed to kill him. He heard that his brother Esau was on his way to meet him with an army of 400 men. He immediately sent a caravan of gifts consisting of all his possessions along with his wives and children in hopes of pacifying his brother, but what if Esau was still furious at him? Jacob, whose name means deceiver and grabber felt powerless to control his fate. He was too spent to think and do anything anymore. What Jacob did not know that night was that his real struggle was about to begin. A mysterious man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. Jacob wrestled back. When the man realized that he could not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, Let me go, for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What is your name? The man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on you will be called Israel, because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Jacob insisted. Please tell me your name. The man replied, Why do you want to know my name? Then he blessed Jacob there. Jacob knew he had struggled with God. He named the place Peniel, which means face of God, for he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. The sun was rising when Jacob left Peniel. He was limping because of the injury to his hip, but he felt physically stronger and had a renewed feeling of inner peace and was ready to meet his brother Esau. Genesis chapter 33 tells us that when Jacob saw his brother Esau approaching, he bowed to the ground seven times before him. Then Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, threw his arms around his neck, and kissed him. And they both wept. Esau also refused the gifts that Jacob offered to him telling Jacob to keep them because he had enough for himself. Will you wrestle with God when he wrestles with you? God wrestles with us to show us that he is in control. He wants us to wrestle with him so that we can cling to him, forcing our faith to rest on him rather than on our own strength. He allows us to prevail with him through our persistent and fervent prayers. God gives us more blessings when we wrestle with him because we focus more on him than on our own selves. Wrestle back with God in prayer, cling to him, and do not give up. Do not let him go until he blesses you. He loves blessing people with tenacious faith. You may not be physically limp, but your proud self will limp because it will be stripped of its sense of superiority and self-reliance. You will come out of the wrestling match with God a transformed person with a renewed mind and a humble spirit. Friends, the blessing is coming, so be ready for a resting match when God calls you to wrestle with him in prayer. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 4, 8-9 encourages us with these words. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Blessings to you all, in Jesus' name.